Oh, oh guys, before we start, I just want to. I think you already check it on uh, your Telegram group because I, you know, always send you the the link to my YouTube video. But I also want to take this opportunity to share with you uh, the video that I share on this. Now, if you want to be great at uh, grammar, for example, you can see here like uh, this one. This is the object pronouns. Now let's review objects. So they, are, they have the exercises for you and they have the explanations. And you know, if, if you want to be great at grammar, because I'm going to post all the grammar points on the channel. If, if, if it's easy, if you don't want to see other video, you know, because there are a lot of many kinds of video, even research and other thing. So you just go to my uh, the playlist. You click on the channel and go to playlist and you go to English grammar. And we have also IELTS if you want to learn IELTS test here. We have IELTS test here if you want. Now, if you don't want this, you go to English grammar. So I have posted quite a lot, but very short videos only. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Like this one, the last one, I uh, eight minutes for object pronoun practice. And we have object pronoun interaction, meaning to say this is the lesson and this is the object pronoun practice. We started from the noun, noun and common noun. We have a proper noun and then now we have uh, object pronouns. OK, this one, I think I made mistake with the. Uh, Look at the table below uh, spelling. OK, but you can learn this everyone from uh, we post every day. And the reason I encourage you to follow this because it all compacts. You have the lesson for you, have the exercises for you, and you listen to the native speaker. Just like you learn from a native speaker. And if you have question, you can comment down here. All right, you can give the comment, then I will respond to your comment. Uh, that is the way we can, you know, practice learning online. Sometimes you have a lot of free times and you don't know what to do. That would be the best place for you to go, rather than just avoid the, the videos on uh, on Facebook and anything, and you're going to learn all the grammar points. Let me share with you how many grammar points that you have to learn. Uh, you're going to learn from this my grammar. Did I delete already? OK, here, for example, so you have to learn from one here until 85. So we have common English mistake. OK, adverb clause, advanced noun clause. We have verb past perfect and past perfect continuous. This thing you will see on the channels. And I hope you 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 spend time, you know, watching it, learning from it, take note. Because the lesson that you learn from uh, the, the YouTube channels that I provided to you here, it is from a native speakers. You have everything. If you have questions, you can also comment there. You don't need to pay money for that. You need to invest your time, you know, invest your time and you learn a lot. If you want to be good at grammar, you must because see, you learn the art of writing. They only teach you grammar. Why you need to learn grammar? Because you need to to make sure that your writing is accurate. There's no mistake with your writing. For speaking is not it's not a problem. We are likely to make mistake with speaking, you know. No doubt, even a native speaker, somehow they make mistake in the speaking. Even we speak Cambodian, we do not follow the grammar. But when we do the writing, we must follow the grammar. That's why I share with you a lot of things. Uh, I plan to share many things, not just only the, the grammar, not just only the grammar, I also plan to share IL, TOEFLs and everything on this channel. And I just want to share with you to learn, you know. Uh, because as I can see now, many students, even they completed the year fours, they still have problem with very small <laughs> grammar points. So when they do the writings, there's a lot of mistake they make. All right, but for speaking, no doubt, you're going to improve very soon. As long as you listen to this, you not only learn the grammar, but you improve your listening as well as your writing skill. I can guarantee you. All right, 
and uh, let's go to our lesson. Uh, today we don't study much. OK. And hello, guys, can you hear me? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, hello, teacher. Yeah, hello, hello. OK, uh, if you have students, you also can share the channel with the other people, you know, they can learn for free. No need to have a, I mean, to, no need to pay money and no need to uh, ask anyone anything. Just question, comments there, you're, you're going to have the answer. All right, so now let's go to uh, our lesson. I think we finish uh, everything already, right? You need you need what? You need eight. We finish everything or uh, not yet? We haven't finished the writing, right? This one we learned from last week. There was the idiom with the body part. And everyday, everyday English, we did it already. Did you review the lesson, everyone? How to read the number? Hello? Hmm. Okay, and then now we go to the writing together on page 110. Open the book already, everyone. Hello. Oh, my student is very I don't quiet. have a book, teacher. Oh, you don't have a book? Why? Uh, because 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 and then <laughs> okay if you don't have a textbook you can follow my slide yep and um i will i send you a page 110 here to your telegram group so that you can um Check it out in case you need to read. And it is very small for you to, to follow. And let's go. Wait a moment, please. 212. Oh no, this one is different room. Okay, we can. Okay, I, I send the page to your group. You can check it out. All right, this one called staring, uh, telling a story. Usually people like to tell stories. I think you have experiencing, you know, telling a lot of stories to other people. You know, many kinds of stories, you know, gossip, thrilling story, romantic, or any, you know, the tictus, the accidents, the news, COVID-19, for example. So you need to know how to organize the text, organize the consequence. Where should you tell, when should you tell the result, how to make it interesting. You may learn some from this, not all, just some only. Now let's go to number one together. All right, what do you know about, but telling the story here, the, the topic for us is the Titanic. What do you know about thinking of the Titanic? All right, what do you know? But they have the short answer for you. It happened at the beginning of the 20th century. There was a film uh, about it staring, uh, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. And guys, have you ever watched Titanic, everyone? Hello? Oh, what happened to my student? Is it clear from me, everyone? I just want to know that you can hear me clearly or not, because normally you don't answer my question. The teacher. Yes. The teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. If you don't speak, I will record a video and just send you the video and you can follow my follow lecture my on video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now you are online, so now you have to speak. All right, so let's go. The Titanic was a large British uh, passenger ship which was thought impossible to think. It was hit by an iceberg in the Atlantic Oceans on its first voyage in 1912. 
It think in more than uh, uh, 1,500 presenters died. There have been many books and films about the event. In 1997, an American film starring Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio was a huge box office success and won 11 Oscars. Okay, this is a short summary of uh, the Titanic movie. So, but uh, before we continue, I just want you to read just practice reading. Uh, Jim Kerb, please read this short answer for your friends. Oh, I cannot hear from you what happened. Hello, Herm. Why I cannot hear from you? OK, Herm, thank you very much. I think I will ask other students first. So, Pon, can you read this one again? Yes, it's her. OK, one, now I can. One, what do you know about the uh, thinking of the Tinatek? It it happened at the beginning of the 20th century. There was a film about its starring Lo, uh, Lona, Leonardo. Uh, the Leonardo, the Leonardo, yeah. Leonardo, this Capro. The Tinatek was a large British passenger ship which was through impossible to ship. It was hit by an ice bank in the yeah. at a lot what Atlantic can, can, Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean Oceans on it was uh were young in 1912 it it sick and more than uh, 1500 passenger die there have been many books and film about the event in 1997, an American film starring Kat Wins, uh, Winsel, Winsler and Leonardo uh, DiCaprio was hang box office success and won uh, 11 ox cans. Okay, practice more support. Okay, now, uh, so one read it again, please. Um, want. What do you know about the um skanking, skanking of the Titanic? What happened at the beginning of the um twentieth century? There was a film about it, uh, starring Leonardo Caprio. The Titanic was the leg, um, bracket, a uh, brightest. Passenger ship, which was short impossible in um, sick. It was hit by an eye brain in the uh, Atlantic Ocean on the first uh, voyage in 19, 19, uh, 12. 1912. 1912. 1912. 1912. 1912. It's, it's sick. It more than um, 15,000 passengers died. There has been many books, films about the event. In 1997, an American film st uh, starring Kent Winsland and Leonardo Caspri, uh, DiCaprio was a handbook of his success and won uh, 11 Oscars. All right, thank you very much. You know, I, I can see that. Uh, I don't know whether your speaking skills has been improving so far. Or if you want to speak English very well, you need to practice reading. Reading is important, you know, speak with confidence, read with confidence. If you don't practice reading, even you are good at English, when you start reading, you get hesitated and it is not smooth. 
Uh, believe me, if you want to be great at English, even you don't want to be an English teacher, some of you I know you just want to learn English because you want to have, uh, you know, skillful communications, uh, especially you also can work in the international relations. But uh, you need to, you know, make yourself professional. You cannot just, uh, this is not about something like to blame. This is the beginning. And the beginning is important for you to speed up, you know, to make your uh, uh, quality foundation. If you spend time reading, if you spend time listening to English, if you spend time practicing the grammar, believe me, one or two years, you're going to be, you know, uh, good at English. But if you don't, it's very hard. Even you are, you know, many of my friends are very good at English, but after a few years now, they're very poor because they don't practice much, right? English is not our language. We don't speak that much. You speak them only when you study. And every day you speak Khmer with your parents at home. That's the reason you are very good at Khmer language. But even you could could, could speak Khmer very well, doesn't mean that you can write a a, you know, an essay in Khmer language. So everything requires practice. Practice and practice. Many of you, now you study on the weekend, you got a job, no problem, but the job is your final job or it is just only a temporary job. If it is only a temporary job, the job that help you to earn some money, earn some experiences, and then you should pay more attention on your study, you know, sacrifice your times for your study because you don't study forever maybe i mean you study you read the books but we study from the university you study for four years only and now it is almost a year so time is very fast now if you if you try for four years to you change your life All right okay the Titanic was a large British passenger ship which was thought impossible to think. It was hit by an iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean on its first voyage in 1912. It sank and more than 1,500 passengers died. There has been many books and films about the event. In 1997, an American film starring Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio Piro, uh, Piro was huge box of his success and one element Oscar. Okay. So let's look at the film here. So we have uh, the, they wanted to work with a partner. We have text A and text B. But you look at the pictures, April 10, 1912 here, Southampton. They have the picture just like a comics book. If you watch comics book, you will see this kind of thing. And uh, we have, uh, what is it? Faster warning iceberg, iceberg. And then they uh, here flee sure the people by the boats and then it's saying finally so let's look at text a together the unsinkable sinkable titanic so you see here the the titanic is sinking here the picture is sinking into the ocean sink 1912 so we have text a now let's look at text a together on april 10th 1912 the titanic left southampton on her way her here referred to titanic yeah, put it in a respectful way. We don't say it's on her way to New York. There were many rich passengers on board. Everyone believed the ship was unsinkable because it's very big, unsinkable. So she didn't have many lifeboats. This one we call lifeboats here. Where is it here? Here, here. lifeboat. Lifeboat when uh, the ships, you know, got into problems. So in order to, uh, to uh, secure the passengers, then they have to use the lifeboat. You just take note, lifeboat. On the night of April 14, the passengers were having dinners and listening to the band. The Titanic was traveling fast because the owners wanted his ship to beat the record for crossing the Atlantic. The owner, right, wanted his ship to beat the record for crossing the Atlantic. So far, maybe there has been no even one boat have crossed the, the Atlantic. So they want to to be the you know, most recognizable and uh, uh, we call the first ships ever cross the, the Titanic. 
Some ships nearly warned of icebergs, but the messages the messages were not delivered. So they have some ship here. We have actually they have the big one, but they also have the small one. They warn, you know, okay, iceberg, please don't come. Slow down, slow down, slow down. But the message was not sent because these people were very happy, you know, in the in the in the Titanics. And a lookout sounded the alarm, but it was too late. The Titanic hit an iceberg, and the ship sank quickly in the band play until it sank. They will still keep playing, you know. They didn't know because the ship is very big. Right? The, the lifeboats only save some of the people. Most of them dies in the sea. People today are still interested in the Titanic. The film Titanic was very popular. Okay. Um, this is text A, right? the way you tell the story. Uh, just want you to read and see how they tell the story for there are many kinds, you know, of way that you can tell the story, but this is one of the way. And I would like to ask someone to read. I think uh, lip sync. I want you to read this. Excuse me, teacher. You want me to read the text, right? Yes, please. Text A: The Unsinkable Titanic, 1912. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic left. Southampton on her way to New York. There were many rich passengers on board. Everyone believed the ship was unsinkable, so she didn't have many lifeboats. On, on the night of April 19, the passengers were having dinner and listening to the band. The Titanic was traveling fast because um, the owner wanted his ship to be the record for to be the record for crossing the Atlantic. Some ships nearby warned of iceberg, but the, the messages were not delivered. A lookout sounded the alarm, but it was too late. The Titanic hit an iceberg and the ship sank quickly. The band played until it sank. The lifeboats only saved some of the people. Most of them died in the sea. People today are still interested in the Titanic. The film Titanic was very popular. All right, thank you very much. Do you have any question with this text A? Everyone? Okay, so you, if you don't have question, now let's go to text B. All right, now read text B, compare it with text A. So text B is a bit longer, which is more interesting text. Why? Give some example. So now let's uh, read text B together. Okay, then you have to give the answer to the question, which one is more interesting. Now the same thing, right? The, the title, the unsinkable Titanic 1912. On April 10, 1912, the liner Titanic, the luxurious ship, they call unsinkable left Southampton on her maiden voyage to New York. The passengers were a major of the world's wealthy as in their magnificent first class accommodations and my immigration picks into storage. The ship was believed to be so safe that she carried only 20 lifeboats enough for the only half of her 2,235 passengers and crew. On the evening of April 14, there was no wind and the sea was calmed. The band were playing as the rich enjoyed their evening meals in the uh, sumptuous, <coughs> sorry, sumptuous di uh, dining room. At 9.40 p.m., nearly nearby ships warned of icebergs. However, the message were not delivered. The Titanic was traveling at 20 uh, knot and the owner of the ship was on board, encouraging the captains to go faster to beat the record for crossing the Atlantic. Finally, a lookout on the iceberg sounded the alarm, but it was too late. At 11.40 p.m., the Titanic struck an iceberg, struck an iceberg and passenger failed on a slight bump and carried on dancing and dining. After all, the ship was unsinkable in 
was unsinkable. In fact, the ship was sinking fast, but it was not until nearly 12.45 that an SOS signal was sent and the first lifeboat was lower. The last one was lower at 2.05 a.m. And at 2.20 a.m., the ship sank. Just two hours and 40 minutes. After hitting the iceberg, 730, 713 people were saved. The remaining 1,522 all met the death in the dark waters of the Atlantic Ocean. This included most of the men and third-class passengers, the crews, and all the band. Amazingly, they had kept playing until the ship disappeared beneath the waves. The ship sank almost 100 years ago, but the interesting interest in the Titanic continues. Books and films have kept its memories alive. Titanic is the most watched film in movie history. Incredibles in 1985. The rig itself was discovered and photographed on the seabed. Okay, everyone. Um, now, before I ask you the question, I would like to ask some student to read. Who volunteer to read this text B? Can yeah. I show? Okay, please. Can I read? Okay, 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 please. You can start now. Um, oh, on April 10, 1912, the Lunar Titanic, the luxury ship, the car and Singapore left St. Tom um, Southampton on her midden. Why to New York? Her passengers were mistress of the world, but persist in their many fashions for class accommodation accommodations and immigrants packed in small spirit. The ship was real to be so sad that she cried only 20 libels, enough for only half uh, 2,235 passengers and crew. On the evening of April, April 14, there was no wind and the sea was calm. The band was playing us to enjoy their evening meal in the subfoot dining room. At 9.40 p.m. nearby this bone of icebergs, however, the messages were not delivered. The Titanic was traveling at 22 knots. The owner of the ship was, was on board, encouraging the captain to go faster to beat the record for crossing the Atlantic. Finally, a lookout on the brig saw the, uh, the alarm, but it was too late. At 11.40 p.m., the Titanic struck an iceberg. Passenger fell only a slight bomb and carried on dancing and winning. After all, the ship was unsinkable in In fact, the ship was sinking fast. Mm. Yeah. Yes, teacher. In fact, the ship was sinking fast, but it was only until nearly 12.45 that um, SOS uh, signal was sent and the first light bulb was lower. The last one was lower at 2. 2.5 a.m. and at 2.20 a.m. the ship the ship sank just two hours and 40 minutes after hitting the iceberg. 20, uh, 713 people were sold. The remaining 1,522 are made there dead in the dark waters of the, the Atlantic Ocean. This includes most of the men and third class passengers, the crew, and all of the band. Amazingly, they had kept playing until the ship disappeared beneath the waves. The ship sank almost 100 years ago, but interest in Titanic continues. Books and films have kept 
its memory. Memory alive, Titanic is the most watched film in movie history. In Incredibly, in 1985, the wreck itself was discovered and photographed on the seabed. All right, thank you very much. I think you may have some difficult words here, but they are only uh, attitudes. And I, I just want you to compare. Take A and take B, the title are the same, the unsinkable Titanic 1912, and the same thing. Which one is more interesting? Anyone can give me the answer, please. Be confident and proud to, you know, uh, to talk and to give the answer. Yeah. Hello. Should be the second one. The second one. Text me. Do you have any reason? Yes. Yada, any reason for that? Um, because the, the second it gave us more detail with many work and the information is clearer than the first one. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Then I want to hear from one more student. So this time I would like to ask, who is it? Okay, Regina. Yeah, teacher. I think uh, text B is interesting. More interesting. Yes. Okay. Because, uh, because it tells us um, a lot detail and we know clearly about this story more than the text A. Okay, right, no more. So if they tell you two hours, is it better? Yeah, two hours, two hours is too long, you know. <laughs> you, you <are. laughs> okay, uh, you know, okay, text B is more interesting for sure because they use a lot of words, especially the adjective. The more they use adjective, in their writing, uh, in their story, the more it's become emotional. And, you know, it, the more it's become like, um, you you can, you know, it, it, it we call it intrigue your imagines. You imagine, you feel like, okay, you are in that situation. This one, it is too choppy. What we mean, we don't have the feeling with it. But if you understand English very well, what you want this one, you have some feeling. Right? While you are reading, you are dreaming about it. Okay. Um, I think uh, last time, guys, I share with you the... Uh, I don't know whether you have read them or not, but you should. I think I share with you a lot, right? Eh? Uh, especially the adjective here. Hello? Have you read it? Yeah? Yeah, okay, have you learned all the words here? They are all very good words, you know. And they said here, no practice, no progress. <laughs> Again, we have uh, more attitude here, I think. Oh, this one is a uh, practice only. And I hope you learn from it, and they are very good. If you don't know a lot of good attitude, then it's really hard for you to make your writing more creative and inspirational. For speaking is no problem because sometimes you cannot come up with the word tremendous, fantastic, fascinating, stunning, you know. You don't it 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 doesn't come to your mind like that when you speak. But some people can do it because they practice listening and speaking almost every day. So then those words come to their mind. Yeah. But for writing, you have time, so you should be able to insert some, you know, some words that can't connect your writing with the reader emotion or feeling. That is the best. I think you learn a lot from uh, presentation skill because I can see that your lecturer, Mr. Natsupon, sent you a lot of video to watch. Am I right? 
Yes, teacher. So the way they they tell you, they, they give the presentation, it's just like telling you the story. If they can use a lot of, you know, touching words, the word that touch your feeling, that touch your heart, and then you are likely to pay more attention and give them more credit. Same thing, you know, if you follow text A, it's very short, very summary, but you don't have the feeling with it. But text B, just like aromatic take one, you see a lot of additive and, okay, manifactions, uh, laxerous, okay? If you can count, there are a lot of uh, additives and everything here. Okay, so for this lesson, they only want you to learn how to tell the story, but you have to use a lot of, you know, touching words, emotional words, the word that connects uh, the story to the read, uh, to the listener or to the reader feeling, no, not just telling the story. Okay, so I have one homework for you. Are you happy to hear that you have homework today? Hello? Hello, yes, guys? Teacher. Can you listen? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, I have homework for you. So homework, I will write here. Home. Work, speaking. All right. So this homework, I want you to, um, you can, you know, do the summary. Yeah. Summary. Of any movie or story. Of any movie or story. Just want you to do the summary of any movie or summary, but I want you to follow text B here. You have to add more words. You know, when you watch movies, some people, you know, when you do this, this uh, exercise, they have to take note everything. No, you have to watch and understand the consequence, the step, step one, step two, step three. You do the pre-writing and then you put them together. Uh, you have to make your own sentences. When you make your own sentences, use the attitude that you have learned. That is your knowledge become practical. And when you when you tell the story, you feel very familiar. You feel very good because they all your your understanding and your own words. You do not copy from other people. Invite your time doing it. You're gonna you're gonna uh, you know improve a lot. So now you have to summary the movie or the story. But I don't want you to submit me the the writing. I want you to record the video and submit it to me. Can you follow, guys? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Um, teacher. Yeah. Hello. Any questions? Teacher, is it? Is it possible if we just record our voice? No way. You have to show your facial expression because when you tell the story, you have to see. Sometimes you look so sad and you want to tell a, a, a funny, uh, you know, a comedy, for example. And sometimes you look so happy, yeah. but you tell a sad story. You have to, to, to have the emotions there, you know. And this is the best way for you to practice your presentation skill. But you don't need to show everything. Like I, I, I share with you, uh, you only need uh, half of this one. Let, let's see. I share with you uh, promotion. Uh, okay. Promotion. Oh, oh. Pro. Okay. I think here. Uh, this one. Uh, let me share with you. Uh, okay. Here. Uh, just show this. Example, I give you an example. Indigenous people, also known as First Nations, First People, or Native People, are an ethnic group who are the original or earliest known inhabitants of an area which has later been settled or occupied by other ethnicities very recently. The number, condition, and experience of Indigenous people may vary widely within a given region. My name is Miss Mwabatai, and today I'm going to tell you about the indigenous people from Japan, which are called the Ainu, also known as the Izu, of historical Japanese texts. 
After this presentation, I guarantee that you will be able to learn more about the Ainu people, starting from their daily lives to their habitants as well as their histories. Without further ado, let me get started. The Ainu live in... Okay, guys. Can you follow? Yes. This one in year one to master two as well. You can see here. Water hyacinth. What is the water hyacinth? What is the problem does water hyacinth cause? Are the water hyacinth good or bad? And what are the benefit of water hyacinth? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody in group. My name is Todd, one of the students um, at BBU University located in Batambang province. Okay, you can do that, everyone. Hello? I don't think I can do it, but I will try to tell. <laughs> can you tell again because my internet is poor? Okay, uh, the homework is very simple. You can summary of any movie or story, no problem. My uh, uh, Hollywood, Bollywood, any movie or Thai movie, no problem. A story, right? But I don't want you. I don't want you to submit me the you know a written form. I just want you to summarize it, do it by yourself, and after that you record your own presentation, the way you tell the story to other people on screen like that, and then submit the video to me. Okay, see next. Wow, what happened? Eh? No one answered the question, yes or no. <laughs> so, Anari? Uh, now, today, or tomorrow. Oh, no, no, not, not today. You need more time. So, you have to submit to me before 19. Okay. Yeah? Teacher, um, deadline today, tomorrow, or now, teacher? I say before 19. Oh, I think you don't hear me well, I think. Before how do you hear me? I, I hear you, but do you hear me? I say before 19 September. Yeah. Hello. Hey, sir, uh, can you hear what is it, Sing? I cannot hear you. Teacher, I mean, could you play the record of the video again, please? I want to watch it clearly because at the moment my internet is slow, so I cannot um catch the word. Uh, what what do you mean, play the record, play the video that you just watch? Yes, teacher. Oh, that one is just only the example. You want to get that video, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, so maybe I have to ask permission uh, from uh, the student. So maybe if uh, she say okay, I will uh, use the video on my YouTube and I can send to the group. You can watch from there. Okay. No, no, teacher. I mean just a short clip of her video, like um. Oh, okay, okay. You just want to watch. One second only. Let me see. Okay, so I have to uh, close this one first. Wait a moment. Uh, uh, Julie, the the that that. that when she was in year one to master two, the same like you. Now she is in year two to master two. You want to see her video, right? Uh, she is promotion 15. You are promotion 16. So there's a lot of video here, you see? Right. Yeah, this is her video. Indigenous people, also known as First Nations, First People or Native People, are an ethnic group who are the original or earliest known inhabitants of an area which has later been settled or occupied by other ethnicities very recently. The number, condition, and experience of Indigenous people may vary widely within a given region. My name is Miss Mawabatai, and today I'm going to tell you about the indigenous people from Japan, which are called the Ainu, also known as the Izu of historical Japanese texts. After this presentation, I guarantee that you will be able to learn more about the Ainu people, starting from their daily lives to their habitants, as well as their histories. Without further ado, let me get started. 
The Ainu live in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. However, their appearances are different from the Japanese people. They have round dark brown eyes, wavy hair, and light skin. The men have beards and mustaches. There have been several questions about their whereabouts. We are not sure whether they were from Europe across Russia to Japan, whether they were from Indonesia, or whether they were different from other people all around the world. We have no answer to that. You might be wondering, what do the Ainu people do for a living? The answer is, they are hunters and farmers. The men hunt for brown bears in the forest by keeping the meat to eat and the skin to sell. They also grow rice and vegetables. The bear is also very important. Okay, Lip Singh, I think enough, right? Yes, teacher, thank you. Uh, that is uh, from presentations class. Mr. Ngat Supon was a teacher. So you are also uh, following the same teachers. I hopeful, hopefully you can do the same thing. Uh, you you need to uh, you know to try. Otherwise you cannot be the best. Um, you cannot just sleep and study for three or four hours on the weekend and be great. Your English for me are very good. Most of you are very good, but you need to improve yourself. You need to make it more, you know, sharpen. It cannot just like that, and that is enough. No, I know that you all want to be the best. Then you have to do something that not common people, not simple people do. You have to do something different. Put your heart, put your heart in it. All right. Okay. So hopefully you understand my homework. And. Uh, now we can continue to do our exercise. OK, guy, can yeah. we continue? Yeah, support. Um, the text is in the textbook or not, teacher? No, you can choose from any uh, video, any story, no problem. Yeah, but I know I want to know that um, the text is in the textbook or not. I want to read in my textbook. Yeah. Oh, you mean you mean the, the one she presented? No, teacher. This text, I mean, you when you show uh, this text that you show, did have in textbook or not? Because oh, I did the uns uh, unsinkable Titanic here. Yeah, yeah, teacher. This is in your textbook. Is this on page hundred um, hundred and ten here? Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. And I also send the I also send the page to your Telegram group. Please check it out. Yes, teacher. All right. So then, uh, any more question? Okay. If you don't have questions, then let's uh, continue with this small grammar. Okay. Read. This is the review. Today we are not going to unit nine. Next week we are going to unit nine. When we finish the review here, you have one quiz, and when you finish, then you can relax. Read about the Danish uh, chimney dangerous moment. Complete the text with the correct words in the boxes. So we have two accompany training to go. Not very easy. Let to see. So after training for five years to be a doctor, Danish chimney was kin. Kin what? More of the world. So this one, I want you to do it in just uh, four minutes. And please, uh, we will check the answer at 9.45. Hello, guys, can you follow? Yes, oh, Okay, okay, okay.
Okay, okay, guys. So now let's check the answer together. Okay, number two. Uh, chimney was taken. Oh, work, or taken, sorry, working. Anyone can give me the answer, please. To see, to see more. To see. Okay, to see more of the world. So he took a job in the hospitals in uh, Kamendo, the capital city of Nepal. It was hard work, and after a couple of months, the hospital, what is it? Let. Let him Let. have a few days holidays. He decided that he liked what? To go. To go. To go into the jungle. This is? Not very, very easy. Not very not easy very. to do. Uh, to do on uh, your own. So he asked a Nepalese guy, Aldash, to accompany to accompany him. Okay, so we can continue to the next one. I don't ask you to read. Okay, now they set off at six o'clock one morning with two elephants. Okay, this one I want you to spend uh, around four minutes again, complete by yourself, and we check the answer at 9.51. Okay, please.
OK, everyone, so now let's check the answer with me. They set off at 6 o'clock one morning with two elephants. OK, what is it here? Carrying. OK, um. carrying their equipment, carrying their equipment. It was hot and humid, especially as a dash head had what? Head made. OK, had made uh, Danish by special thick shoes and trousers. What is it? To protect. to protect. To protect him from snakes. Danish, what? Was hoping. Was hoping to see was lots of wildlife, particularly tigers, because as a child he had always dreamed of what? Of meeting a tiger. His, his children dream. What? Was about to. Was about, was about to. to come true. That was about to come true. All right. Thank you very much. You can do the review on this again on video. I mean, when, when I uh, share you the link of this video, we don't have time to practice again and again. Uh, let's go to the next one. Out. Oh, we finished already now. Our unit. Our unit eight finished now. OK, we finish. I want you to practice some more exercise here. Guy, do you remember about uh, the fears and phobia? Three people talk about the unusual phobia. Her name is Jolie, Gavin and Malaysia. Remember? Hello? Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes. must remember. So remember, uh, what is Jodie fear of? Jody fear of what? The? What is it, everyone? The button. The bottom? The How about Kevin? Yeah. Kevin? The face. The face. The face. And Malaysia? The balloon. The balloon. Very good. So now let's go and see this one together. Is it small for you or big enough for you to see? Hello? Oh. That's in nature. Is enough. Well, you want to get it bigger? It's so, so, so bigger, right? <laughs> okay, so I think it's enough. I think uh, let's let let listen. We have this one. Jody, grandma, asked her to go upstairs for her cardigan, again, or the cardigan make Jody. What is it? Buying clothes without buttons. So you have to tell me, like example, you have to continue, uh, continue this part of the sentence with this exercise. Like Jody, grandma, ask her for what example? Tell me, I will do that for you. All right? Okay. So now I play the tape for you again. Actually, you already listened this one of the lessons. You may review. You may be able to do it, but I just want to play the tapes for you, and you can mark. I can match these phrases with the the sentence here. So Jody, grandma, ask her. The gardener make Jody her grandma help her. She has started, and she now want once to go upstairs for a guardian, buying clothes without button, feel very scared to visit her uh, psychotherapist and to calm down. I think you don't need to listen to the tape, right? I think you can do it. Now let's do number one together. Jody, grandma, ask her, ask her what? To go upstairs. Yeah, to go upstairs. How about number two? The, the cardigan, make Jody. Feel very scared. Feel very scared. Okay, number three, her grandmother help her. To calm down. To, to calm Tender. down. Okay, and then she has started. Buying clothes with. Buying clothes with her And uh, she now wants to visit the psychotherapist. Now check your answer. Excellent. You make no mistake with this. No need to listen. All right. Okay, now let's go to yes. this one. Show a uh, Gavin. So Gavin threw a fall here. Let's do together without listening. Gavin didn't enjoy watching his dad. What is it? Catching fish or preparing fish? Catching. Catching. Are you sure? Okay, catching. Catching. Okay, number two. Gavin has become. Afraid of fish as he has got older. Less or more? 
more อะไร number s he has become nervous about going into the supermarket or buying food in supermarket going going okay number four he has watching people cooking fish or eating fish eating eating number five Gavin now see a psychologist or want to see a psychologist about his phobia see want to see are you sure see. you want to change the answer everyone do you want to change some answer okay no yeah no okay one mistake is Gavin didn't enjoy watching his dad preparing fish. First catching the fish, no problem. But the fear started to happen on him when his dad was pre preparing the fish in the sunk. Okay, so the answer is this one. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Uh, this is uh, Malaysia. So Malaysia friends like her picnic attack make her sickle done. Seeing a balloon make her, her teacher was advised her. So we have friends, fear, scare, shake, brave ones. She was uh, picnicking to talk to someone running after her without balloons. So uh, with balloons. So number one, Melissa friend like, like what? Hmm? I, I think uh, Melissa friend like run after her with balloons. Yes. Okay. Number two, her picnic attack make her shake. Me shake. I follow you. Number three, she could done. Breath when she was. Okay. Breath when she was picnicking, and seeing a balloon make her. Teacher can change the answer. Yes, can. Uh, make her shake. Make her shake. Make her shake. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Her teacher. Her teacher advise her to. To talk to talk someone. Oh, to mm. talk to someone. How about this one? This one. Are you okay? I'm not sure. No, so sure. Learn already. Okay. But okay, let's see. Yeah. Wow. Now you are right. Okay. So this is not our quiz. I just want to review the lessons to prolong the time for you. And now I'm going to give you one quiz. Are you happy to get one quiz, everyone? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. This is called a quiz here. And the quiz here is a little bit long. So that I'm gonna give you one. This is all about unit eight. So you can see here, all right, very long. And we have even translation. And uh, I will upload this on uh, Microsoft team. Yeah, as an assignment here. And create assignment, okay. And then I will put title unit eight. Revision test. Uh, this instruction I upload from here. So where is it? Uh, okay, no, this one here. Okay, this one PDF. Upload, hurry up. Right. Let's see the mark. How many mark for this one? Hundred mark. Okay. Yeah. So there's one hundred mark. And um, okay, and you have to now turn so you have to submit to me before twelve. I have to change this one to FIP and this one change to twelve. Wait twelve PM. It's 12 p.m. here, 12 p.m., yeah. Okay, uh, guys, I just want to let you know that you have to write the answer on a piece of paper. Write it. Uh, 
Only only my quiz, right? Uh, the teacher, they don't give you quiz on this one. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yes, yes, teacher. Most of the time, only me, who, the one who give you the quiz on this one. And the teacher has a different style from you. They just send um, the Google form and then uh, upload into the Telegram. And then we click the oh. link and do. Oh, Google form. We want you to do, they want you to do, I want you to do on uh, Microsoft form. We have Microsoft form, but I don't know. I mean, the school actually want every teachers to do it, but uh, okay, let's see. And I can see here for the grammar quiz, you need the one, only 29 students submitted. And for the writing here now, only 20 students. We have more students haven't submitted. So I can check here who did not submit. Okay, guys. So here we have Piyada Singh already here. We have a lot. Now I have to know student who did not submit the lot here. View. Okay, so I now she move. Okay, Triya not yet. Sukunti not yet. Already or not? And uh, Charlie also not yet. And a lot of student here not yet. Oh, Ren Hao also not yet. Ren Hao. Kanya, Sopon. And let's see the, 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 the homework here. Right? See this one writing. You could just complete it and do it to me. Okay. Um, this one you have to take photo and upload uh, and upload on uh, this one. You cannot complete or write the answer on uh, on the form. This one you have to write in your notebook. Write only the answer, guys. And uh, some of you already view. I can see here, but uh, please listen to me a bit. You have time to do it, right? So you have part one, part two, part three, and you please write only the answer key to me. Like example number one, you have one until 11 here, you can write the answer key. So until you finish here, okay? You have two hours to do it. Teacher. Hmm? So for this whole assignment, we need to write in a piece of paper and we have to upload it in your uh, Microsoft team, right? Yeah, yeah, upload on Microsoft team. So when you upload on Microsoft team, it will look like this. I just show you one example. Uh, it, it will be look like uh, look like this. Just give you example. All right, just give you example. Oh, give you the other class. Yeah. Okay, for example, uh, where is it? Okay, homework. Just, just, just give you example, and then uh, you can look at this. Turn in where we see the answer. So once you upload, we see your answer like this. But I don't want you to edit uh, the PDF. I only want you to write the answer key on your uh, piece of papers or in your notebook, and then take a photo to me. All right. So I will see like this. You upload one, then I see like this. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can ask right now. If you don't have we can um, relax. I can relax and you can do the quiz. <laughs> okay, uh, for those who do not know how I will send you the link here as well. Where is the link? Okay, copy link. Send to your group. Uh, your one is uh, promotion. Oh, we can, right? Okay, we can. Okay, this is the link to the quiz. Okay, any question, everyone? Teacher, may I upload this quiz at the evening? Because now I'm not at home. I don't have a paper and pen to do the quiz. Well, you also can uh, take note on your mobile phone, screenshot and upload, no problem. Teacher, I cannot see quiz. When, when I join link, um, I cannot see the question. You, 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 please click on the link that I sent to you. Click already. Just click like this. You will yes. go in. Yeah. Then you will see this one. Just click yes, on. I, 
Yes, I click already, but I cannot see the question teacher. You were can't die here, right? Yes. Ah, because this is not not you yet. Okay, I don't know why. Do you use the license account, but why you cannot see? Okay, let me add you. Uh, your name is uh, what country? Uh, uh, country, yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Add member. Here, is it you here, country? Yeah. Okay, let's add. Oh, already exists. Means you already in the teams. Open again, country. Okay, if you cannot open, you go to our team and you click on assignment. Click on the word assignment, okay? And then you see revision text, you click on that one. Oh, someone already turned in. Who is it? Why so fast? You haven't done it yet. Seeing Chimmy. Chimmy turned in already. When I join. Not, Chimmy did not give me the answer. But that's okay now, guys. Uh, can't I now? Can do it or not? Can see it or not? Cannot tell. When I click the link, I say, um, what, what, I said, you man. Yeah, and you see this? You see like this? Um, I will screenshot for you, teacher. Okay. Do it now. I will wait and see you. Teacher, uh, when when we finish, uh, we send the answer key to you. The, the the answer to you, right? You have to upload on Microsoft Team. Oh, uh, Kante, you can also uh click on the assignment. You click on that word assignment. Yes. Hello. Hello, Kantai. Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you click on the word assignment? Yes, click I click on the teacher, but no result. What do you mean, no result? Please call and send it to me again. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can. Yes. the picture. Oh, I think you may have problem. So I will, I will, I will just. Okay. Uh, if you can upload, upload. If you cannot upload, just send to my Telegram. Otherwise, you're gonna have big, big problem with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can send to my personal Telegram account. I will send the uh this this, this one to you. Okay, can I? Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Can I ask you? Yes, please. I'm waiting. Why I cannot see um upload? Okay, if, upload. If, if if you cannot see, just go to your Telegram. Okay, go to your Telegram. You see the quiz. You see that quiz and then do it, take photo and submit to my Telegram account. Thank you. Hello, Kantai. Yes, teacher. Now stop stop doing it. Just open your uh, quiz on your Telegram, raise the answer in your notebook, take photo and send to my Telegram account, my personal Telegram account.
Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Then. You can leave Microsoft team right now and start doing it quietly. Please don't copy from each other. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now. Mm -hmm. Yes, bye bye teacher. Bye bye. See you next week. Goodbye, teacher. Midterm. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, teacher. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.